Now to the crisis in Syria and how it's hitting home here in Hampton Roads. U.S. State Department officials continue to negotiate with Russia over the removal of chemical weapons in Syria. The talks have slowed down and the White House says it could take weeks, even months for the diplomatic solution that would solve the situation without the U.S. taking military action against the Syrian government. Right now, there are at least four locally based ships sitting off the coast of Syria. They are the USS Stout, USS Ramage, USS Barry, and USS Gravely. The ship's crews are standing by, ready to act if the president gives the order. And one ship that was on that map just two weeks ago is back home tonight. The USS Mahan pulled into Naval Station Norfolk this afternoon. The ship and its crew stood by in the eastern Mediterranean Sea as the president considered a strike against Syria. Ten in your size Ava Hurdle was peer side for that homecoming. She joins us now. Ava, what did the crew have to say about that mission? Well, Stephanie, we can tell you that relief is one word that describes the feeling among crew members, family and friends now that the ship is safely back home. After eight and a half months at sea, the guided missile destroyer Mahan returns after a cruise that put its name in headlines around the world. This is America considered a military strike against Syria for its use of chemical weapons against its own people. We answered a presidential order. And according to the Mahan's commanding officer, the ship was on station in the eastern Mediterranean and at the ready. Always forward deployed, uh, ready to answer uh, any call that's ever given to us. And so um, is very, very transparent. We're very, uh, as always, very ready to do what we're trained to do. Um, in any contingency. The ship's deputy operations officer echoed that sentiment. You know, everybody worked hard, and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it brought everybody home, which is uh, you know, what all I could hope for. His wife, Jenny, says the deployment made for some anxious oh, moments. Yeah. We were worried for a while that, you know, it would, they wouldn't come back quite as early as they were expected to be back, so it's, it's nice to just have them home and have some help now. <laughs> Sailors, family, and friends back together again. Now we're told the ship also participated in training exercises and has a crew of about 275 sailors. We're live at Naval Station Norfolk, Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side.